Today, we're going to spend over 80 million in loot. Welcome back for another episode. We're on the Town Hall 13 today, and I was waiting on this account because it is CWL week, but this account appears to be a sub for the week, so I'm pretty comfortable dropping down our heroes. Along with that, we got other upgrades we need to do, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Realistically, I'd like to drop down all three heroes today, but we're going to have some work to do that. Let's go ahead and let's drop down our Royal Champion. She's 194,000 Dark Elixir. And we could drop down our Barbarian King for 240,000 Dark Elixir. Now our Archer Queen, we need a little bit more. So we're going to have to go out and do some farming. We can always supplement our Dark Elixir number from the Trader. We're full on medals after Raid Weekend, so we might as well grab those. Also, these drills have been full for a little bit because I was waiting on this account. So we'll grab that as well. Now let's take a look in our laboratory because we really don't have much left in here. And a lot of it is dark elixir but since we are trying to get those heroes up today i think we'll just go ahead and upgrade a siege machine and then with our gold we can go ahead and get this last archer tower going up to level 12 as you see here oh wait oh those are 13 so we can get the, that one going up to 12 and then 13 for some reason i thought it was 12 uh, and then we can go and we can work on these teslas as well we definitely need to keep a builder available so we'll go ahead and we'll pop that off and notice we're still pretty full on loot. So I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll pop off with our elixir. We'll go ahead and we'll drop down all of these walls right here. I guess you don't really drop down walls, but you just upgrade the walls. That kind of makes a little bit more sense. After all, that's usually what you do with season bank loot. Throw it into walls because it's CWL time. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I don't have to worry about CWL right now. So we'll just work through there. Uh, and that's that's pretty nice. One thing we could do is we could use this book of heroes on the Royal Champion, but I think we'll be fine where we're at right now. Instead, I'm going to elect to put the gold into the walls as well. And then we'll try to use our last little bit, our last upgrade rather, for the Archer Queen after we do a little bit of farming here today. So let's go ahead and get that up. We'll use whatever wall rings we have. Oops, wall rings. Yep, that that's nice that's nice okay we'll grab that we'll grab that perfect guys oh yeah we're cooking we're cooking all right nice we grab all this loot here that we have on our base which will help out for sure and now we can go out and farm and get our archer queen upgrading so what we're gonna do so that we don't have to worry about using super troops because that would use 25 to 50 thousand dark elixir yeah we would make it back but we're just gonna do queen charge baby dragons this will work just as well well maybe not as well as sneaky so i don't think anything is as good as sneakies let's be honest here guys sneakies are just too op but this should work fine for us to get through here and grab all the dark elixir we need on these bases even if we do have to use regular wall breakers so oh, big noob status who who uses regular wall breakers these days so what is our queen doing queen, what, what are you doing um okay well she might just go up in there that's fine and, and the nice thing about this is as long as you're like uh rotating things and uh keeping everything rolling you can pretty much use this non-stop. As long as you have five healers, uh, you can really just run the queen charge through and just be good. Look at this. Our queen is cooking here, guys. She's cooking. Meanwhile, we got baby dragons working all through there. We got the town hall down. We already got a star. Uh, all she's got to do is grab that storage, and we're pretty much good. The baby dragon will go ahead and grab that dark elixir drill up there. Look at that, guys. If we want to continue and get more stars, we can most certainly do that. Or if we want to end the raid right now, we can do that too. What are, where are you going? Uh, he gone. He gone. Uh, but let's go for two stars. Why not? We might as well get some trophies while we're at it. We shouldn't have to really use uh, too many spells. If we want to use some baby dragons here, great. I'm not really worried about the golden elixir. Like I said in the video yesterday where we were talking about upgrading heroes, that'll come. If you're just focusing on dark elixir, the uh, golden elixir, it'll come to you. Trust me on that one. We get almost 13,000, actually over 13,000 total dark elixir on this one. And we get decent amount of golden elixir. And then when we go back home, we got our five healers right here cooking. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cook up five more healers, kind of put them to the front of the queue, put five more healers in there, and just kind of keep that rotation going of five healers. And that'll keep us rolling. Also, if you're worried about losing trophies, this is a great way to not lose trophies with the queen charge. At minimum, you should be able to run up 50% every single time. Let's take a look around here. All right, let's see if we can queen charge into this little uh, town hall compartment. I'm not sure, but we'll use some baby dragons. After all, we do have tons of baby dragons, so we'll use them just to kind of funnel and create some pathing in here. 
Uh, let's put that in there. Let's put another one in here. Okay, nice. If we need, we have a jump. If we need, we got wall breakers. We got we got a little bit of everything in this army. Realistically, I think we just jump right on through here and let her do her thing and go right on inside this base. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, she'll she'll go right into the town hall and we should be good. Honestly, we probably could have just dropped the blimp on the town hall if we really wanted uh, since there is a hole right in there. But I figured we would show off our queen walking skills, so to speak. Do I have queen walking skills? I'm going to hit warden ability here just to protect her. And we'll, we'll go there. It's also just a great way to practice queen walking. Uh, my, my homie Teske will tell me that, like, use an army like this and practice your queen charging into a base. Uh, that way you, uh, you don't get rusty, which happens to me more than I'd like to admit. All right, so now we just let the queen work through here. She should be able to get in and get to... That's uh, that dark elixir storage right over there. We're good, man. We are, we're, we're cooking. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. All right, so let's just keep an eye on Queen. Let's let everything work. Uh, we can grab this loot if we want. Again, optional. It'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, but Queen, will, more importantly, she'll get over here. She'll grab all of this dark elixir, and we're gonna be gravy, baby. Look at that. Yeah, we get all the dark elixir. Oh, is there some? I summon the CC, or did we miss some somewhere? How do we have twelve left? Where is 12? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to just shout that. Oh, over here. Okay. Well, most of it was over there. Oh, our queen did go down, but we do have hero second life. One thing you do want to work on on this one is trying to not let your queen die. I, I would definitely say that. Don't let the queen just get taken out uh, just for the better. But I wanted to be greedy and go for the two star and 13,000 dark elixir. All right, guys. I feel like this one could test us a little bit here. I feel like this should be fine, but it's 12.6. With our bonus, should put us over, push us over 13,000 on the Dark Elixir. So same thing there. We are a little bit low on loons, but that's okay. We can just kind of revamp our loons as we kind of work through. See if we can get some regular wall breakers in here. I don't, what do we need? Three or four to auto break the wall? I think it's three. I want to say it's three. Eh, that, that number could be not right. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that number is not right. Let's go ahead and let's get our warden working in here. Let's go ahead and send this in while we're working as well. All right, we'll go ahead and freeze there. We'll let the... Oh, wait, Queen doesn't want to go to the the, 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 the single. That's all right. We'll, uh, she'll, she'll get there eventually. She'll, she'll work in. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. she's, she's, she's just choosing her career path wisely here, guys. No worries. No worries. If anything, we could probably just send in some babies in behind her. Speaking of which, we don't have a lot of babies, but let's go ahead and put some baby dragons in over here. All right, nice. Can we just jump her through here? Why not, right? She should be able to jump right on through there. Uh, maybe, if she wants to. It's her choice, obviously. <laughs> All right, there we go. There she goes. She goes right in for that storage. Let's go ahead and rage her back up again. Trying to keep her alive. we got to get through the rest of this loot here. I'm going to pop her ability just because that eagle's getting ready to fire again. Uh, let's go ahead and work through there. All right, she's getting through. We're not doing a good job keeping her alive. Mostly, I think I need to I need to focus on the rest of the base at the same time here. I think I'm getting like focused on the queen, and that's where things are backfiring on here. That's okay. That's okay. As you can see here, I'm used to farming with the the sneakies and super troops, and this is a new experience for me. But I do think it is a valid experience. We don't get all of it here, but we get most of that dark elixir. It's still pretty solid. Check this one out, guys. This should be pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I think we should be pretty good. We wrap the queen around this bottom side going to the top side. I think we should be fine here. Let's go ahead and put in our healers. Go ahead and test there. Put this in. We'll go baby dragon here just to clear this out, just to make sure that queen. We pretty much just want her to go all the way around up to the top side. At some point, we'll send in our battle blimp to go for the town hall. I think this should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and let's put another baby dragon in here. I'm not even going to worry about sending the queen into the town hall because it looks like everything's on the outside for the most part. Uh, if we can really just do a full lap here, she should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's rage up here. Especially since that sweeper is just being a little bit annoying. Uh, just pushing us all kinds of backwards and stuff. Ooh, uh, Warden stole the healer. So let's go ahead and hit uh, Warden ability here so the queen can maybe get her healers back. Uh, come on. Healer, swap back over to the queen. She's under fire. Or at least get some, like, splash onto the queen here. Oh, queen's gonna go to ability. Why are the healers not swapping? The warden is definitely full. What the heck is going on here? 
all right well i guess we don't put the warden in anymore uh the healer just literally let the queen die i'm confused i'm confused all right that's fine uh we can make this happen we'll just drop this battle blimp right on here okay that's fine we can we can make this work no big deal we'll still get the dark elixir i'm just so confused how that happened i didn't think i thought when she's lower on damage they're supposed to swap over and help her out apparently not all right well warden you go in with baby dragons from now on sorry bud Sorry, bud. Apparently, I don't know how the game mechanics work on healer swaps. I thought I had it a little bit figured out, but apparently I'm completely wrong. Uh, on this one, we're just going to settle for a one star. That way we don't have to wait too long. But that's still really solid. 12,000 Dark Elixir. This one shouldn't be too bad, he says lightly. <laughs> uh, all right, so Warden, you don't get to you don't get, you don't, you don't get to do it. Sorry, Warden. You can do your own thing there, homie. Uh, actually, Warden might be able to just do like a little baby... Maybe we could do like a twin walk. We just bring 10 healers and let the warden walk one corner, let the queen walk the other corner. I kind of like that idea. This is developing more and more. I don't know why I put that baby dragon right into an air defense. I'm so sorry, baby dragon. But queen saved him, so that's okay. Uh, queen just needs to work down and around here. And then we'll uh, we'll push everything around or in or something. I don't even know. I don't even know, man. We'll figure it out. That, that's, that's the main point I'm trying to say here. We'll figure it out. All right, so Warden's walking over there. Uh, Queen is under fire from the king. A little rage should do that. Uh, let's do this here. Let's send this in because Warden's about to go to ability. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll uh, go ahead and go for the town hall here. If Warden gets taken out, he gets taken out. He kind of deserves it after the last raid, you know what I mean? Like, he kind of just stole all the Queen's healers. It was a little bit rude. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. All right, uh, so Queen will work down through the bottom. I don't really know what my plan is for a storage over there. Didn't really think that one out too well. Uh, we can work the Queen inside here, and that might actually work out pretty nicely. Throw this baby dragon in here. Baby dragons will do a good job. Actually, the Yetis are in there, and they're not under too much pressure, so maybe the Yetis can just get that storage. I don't think they will. I don't think they have enough gas in the tank. Let's go and Rage Queen again. All right, let's send in a uh, handful of wall breakers here. I really want those wall breakers to be lower, but that's okay. That's, a, that's fine. Now, uh, they'll, they'll just break through all these walls here. And then they'll go right in to give the queen access to the middle. Good. Solid. This is this is working. Things, things are working right now. All right, queen should go right in through the middle of this base now. And get into that dark elixir storage. There's only 1,500 more dark elixir in there. I think she's got this under control. Let's go ahead and grab this little bit of loot. Grab this loot. Grab this loot. Let the queen work in there. Baby dragon in here. Nice. Nice. We're working, guys. We're cooking. All right. Let's rage up again. All right. I, I want to try the double walk now. It's in my head. I, I can't I can't let it escape my head now. Uh, we'll finish this off. This, honestly, is pretty close to a three-star. That's kind of crazy. I mean, it is a dead base, but... That's pretty nice. We'll take it. We'll definitely take that, guys. We'll pop out of here for our last attack because we need 250 for the queen, right? Let's do a double walk. All right, guys. This one should be pretty good. This, yeah, this should work out pretty nicely for us. I'm going to do our warden walk over here. Warden, you just you just walk over here. And then we're going to start the queen walk over here and try to loop her around and in. All right, we got one drill there. Where's the other drills? Okay, we got one drill there. All right, so Queen, we'll walk you through this way. I, I don't see anything that could go wrong with this one, personally. Uh, yeah, we should be pretty good. We should be... Oh, the other drill's right there. We can just help Warden grab that right there. Nice, nice. Uh, Queen, I do need you to go right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going down and around. Okay, let's, uh, let's wall breaker her right here. All right, let's, uh, hit that. Okay, nice. Uh, baby dragons cut her off. Good, good. Should go for the single in time. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and send in this right here. I'm gonna rage it up so it actually breaks the wall here. Okay, nice, perfect, perfect. Okay, Queen's walking. She's she's looking good here. Uh, we'll pop our ability just to be safe, but she's she's fine. Things are fine. All right, she's gonna go right into this compartment. Warden's gonna go ahead and grab that town hall. Oh, look, this is working nicely, guys. We already got all the dark elixir here. Beautiful, beautiful. Queen's just in the thick of it here. All right, nice. She's fine. Uh, she's going to die, though. Uh, yep, she, she's definitely dead. Sorry, Queen. 
nice knowing you. But this is the last little bit. We're gonna we're gonna upgrade her anyways. This is the last little bit we need. Oh, we're gravy, baby. We're gravy. Look at this. Nice little raid here. Honestly, it's pretty interesting. You know, this this little attack is pretty interesting. Like I said, the golden elixir I'm not overly worried about. We have a lot of time to wait on that, but we do get enough to upgrade our Archer Queen here. I guess we will go ahead and uh, dump a little bit of this loot into the walls before we go ahead and drop her down. That way we're not overflowing on walls if we're farming and stuff. But we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade our Archer Queen, spending a total of like 80, 90 million loot in this episode. Not too shabby, right guys? Hopefully this one helps you out, helps you out with your farming. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.